This is the most effective technique to protect your trees in a river hood with wire mesh fencing and T-posts. So this doesn't happen. You want to make a cylinder fence around your tree and leaving enough room for it to grow and also not look so ugly. But we use T-posts. We think they work great, especially for young tree saplings. But times where a T-post may not work with an odd shaped tree, wire wrapping will also work if you secure it properly. You'll want to make your cylinder fence wide enough so there's a three to six inch gap between the trunk and the fence. This will allow the tree to grow and the beavers from getting there. Metal T-post and a T-post pounder, very important here in Central Oregon as our ground is pretty rocky. Next step will be to roll out your cage wire cage fence mesh. You'll cut every other prong and we'll use those to attach end to end. When you roll out to your measurement with using a tape or even a rope, you'll use some wire snips to cut those ends. Again, every other one, leaving one long end, which will attach to the other. We usually use a overlap of two squares around. This tree is in an odd shape and the ground's a little uneven, so it's a good example of how this material actually is pretty adaptable. You'll want to be mindful of the base and when we get the wire clips that will attach the T-post to the fence, it will hold the base hold it in three different spots, top, middle, and bottom, and then it won't be able to be crawled under by a beaver or crawled over by a beaver. If it's a place with heavy snow in the winter, you might take that into consideration, but four to five feet should be fine height-wise. Also, if the base, there's a gap because of the uneven terrain, you can cut another piece of wire mesh and weave it around. Now, the most important thing is using the 10 inch or so wire clips that you'll make to secure the fence to the T-posts at the top, the middle, and the bottom. You'll first hand tighten it and then get needle nose pliers to finish the job getting a very snug fit um, and using those nibs that are on the T-post to slowly secure. This way that fence will not be able to be pulled up or down. Ah, I got it. There it is. That's nice. And to make those wire clips maybe three to a post, about 10 to 12 inches long. You can buy some heavy gauge wire or you can even just cut pieces of the fence itself into um, sections and use them. We've been using these tree cage fences in and around our riparian areas. We call it fooder fence and they coexistence strategy so you can protect your tree there'll be some food for the beavers it all works out if you have more questions please reach out to us at beaverworks oregon info at beaverworks.org and we can give you a full pdf with the material list or help you with your project thanks for watching this video